Hey everybody, hope your weekend is off to a good start. Um, ours is, and um, I'm also a lot more energetic um, at the moment than I was the last two times I've shared my quiet times on here. Um, I don't know if that's the nap I had in the middle of uh, the afternoon or the cup of light roast coffee I had <laughs> um, uh, at like five o'clock. So anyway, I hope what I have to share today is a little bit more clear than when I was probably rambling in the last two videos. Uh, but that being said, um, I wanted to share today uh, my quiet time out of Mark chapter 12. Um, if you guys haven't picked up this up on this, um, God tends to speak to me pretty clearly in the Gospels, and, and they're by far, in my opinion, the richest books of the Bible. I read them um, through, I read all four Gospels every single month, so I'll finish Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John once a month on average, um, and yet in spite of my familiarity with them in that regard, I, God still speaks to me so clearly. Um, today's, uh, what I wanted to share out of was uh, verses 12, um, or sorry, not verse 12, chapter 12, verses 13 through 17. And what he's, um, what God spoke to me through is, is when he says, um, render to Caesars the things that are Caesars. So for those of you who don't know the story, um, some people come up to Jesus and they want to test him by saying, hey, um, are we supposed to pay this tax to Caesar? And the, the tax that they're talking about is actually a tax that um, Rome put on all of their occupied countries that was essentially a demonstration of uh, being under Rome's authority. Uh, at least that's my understanding of it. I might be wrong with some of the details. But um, it was a pretty big deal to speak against this because it would probably be considered treason. Um, so it very much was a test, um, a trap for, for Jesus in that sense. And not only does he evade the trap, but he also um, says something that, that I think is amazing. Uh, he says in verse 16, they brought him a denarius because he asked for one. And he says, whose likeness and inscription is on this? And they say, Caesar's. And he says, then render to Caesar's the thing that are Caesar's and to God the things that are God. So what is he saying? He's saying, we are to give to Caesar the things that bear his likeness and his inscription, and we are to give God what bears his likeness and his inscription. And what's amazing about that is that we know exactly what bears the likeness of God because he proclaims it all the way back in Genesis 1. Jesus is is talking to Jews. He knows the Jews are going to get this reference. He's alluding to a passage in Genesis 1, which is uh, verse 26 of Genesis 1. And it says, um, let us make man in our image after our likeness. So he's saying just as we are to give money because it bears Caesar's likeness to Caesar, we are to dedicate to God ourselves because we are created in the likeness of God. Um, just like we are to recognize Caesar's authority in, on, on land by giving this tax, we are to submit ourselves fully to God in recognition um, that we were created uh, in the likeness of God as well. So just, uh, just an awesome, uh, a couple different things that demonstrates Jesus' cunningness. Um, and it also demonstrates a pretty important thing in Scripture um, especially when Jesus is speaking to the Jews, is that Jesus almost always references other scripture, even if he's not quoting it. Um, so it, it makes us really consider, um, you know, what is he actually trying to say, you know, when we look at those things, which is cool. Um, a good message to listen to is um, uh, Biblical Illusions by Ray Vanderlyn, uh, which would, if you guys don't know who that is, that, that kind of changed the way I saw scripture, and this is obviously one of those times. Um but beside the point, the question really is, am I rendering to God my life or am I just letting God into a part of it? So um, similar themes, I feel like, are all throughout Scripture. is all about you know, how much are we really dedicated to Jesus. So I hope this whips your appetite to study Scripture differently and also to ask the question, how dedicated am I to following Jesus? Um Hope you guys have a good day. Thanks again for watching this video. And um, thanks also for the people who are liking and sharing this. Um, it keeps me motivated to do it. And I find um, 
my quiet times are, are a lot richer when I'm anticipating, um, you know, sharing something. I feel like God, you know, speaks a lot clearer, or maybe I'm just paying closer attention. Um, either way, it's doing a lot for me. So thank you all. Have a good day.